Edison Mine is a historic load and placer mine that was worked as early as the 1890s and through the 1930s by the Edison Mining and Milling Company. It is thought that the historic Anchor Mine and the Edison Mine are actually the same mine, and the Anchor Mine was the first prospect in the area. So what you got here is a side drift into the Edison. Um, the Edison and the Anchor were integrally tied together. What I believe you've got, and we'll get the maps and all that other fun, is basically there's the side drift. The main portal has been purposefully caved. Once you dig that out, you're probably going to have a portal that shoots right back into the mountain. Many of the mines in the area are known for producing gold. This is a big mine. It did produce gold. Now, if you look at the Forest Service report, they will say, oh, these poor idiots were out here mining for 40 years and they hardly ever made any money because they were all a bunch of idiots. Well, logically, that makes no sense at all. If you're out working in a mine for 40 years from 1890s to 1930s, you're probably making some money because nobody has that much money to throw away over 40 years. I mean, even the Rockefellers were not throwing money away. So what you've got is a gold mine out here that's been lost, forgotten, nobody wants you to really mess with, and we're bringing it to you because it has value and it has gold and it has minerals, and it's one of very few that are available up here in the Taos slash Red River area. There is a stream that runs through many of the mines making it the perfect place for placer. This site has been reclaimed, but based on the size of the waste dumps, it is estimated that there is about 25 to 3,500 feet of workings that would be well worth getting into again. So we're here in the anchor mine, and we were looking out at the front before, and what you saw was a whole bunch of slop over the front. Now that's invariably a blasting, and the Forest Service covering everything up. I'm in a side drift right now that would come in basically from the northern side and then the mine likely goes over this direction. See how full we are there. So basically this is probably just a side little cut. You can see the age of the timbers here. It's kind of fun. This is definitely not their main mine workings. The only little bit of gold, the only little bit of gold you're going to be able to get is like out of these veins, and that is this. But this is not the main workings. However, this is a way for you to get in and to start working away at this. You can see I'm in competent, stable, hard rock. Got no air issues. Got a little bit of water. Again, you can see all these along the side. That is going to be your probably low grade gold deposits. So, if you like New Mexico and you don't mind high country, we're a little over 9,000 feet up here in New Mexico. Uh, this is a great mine. This could be a large commercial producer. It's gonna take some work, it's gonna take some money, it's gonna take a notice of operation. You get out here, get a bond, reopen this mine, and establish a large mining operation out here that is making millions of dollars a day. Once again, Edison Mine, Anchor Area. I'm Corey for Gold Rush Expeditions. We will see you at the next site.